Hi, this is Care Heart, and I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to make this cute little sachet card. The sachet was purchased at the Dollar Tree for 50 cents, and the card is just made from supplies that I happen to have. So the card stock that I'm using is uh, orange, and I just chose a coordinating color for my stash. I'm going to trim this to four and a half inches because that's the width of this particular sachet. Do not trim it the length of your sachet. I'll show you that in just a little bit. So my neighbors, the individual who came to me with a cute little challenge on how to turn the volume up on this sachet, and we're going to be selling these sachets uh, to the homeowners in this condo and the purpose of that is to raise funds for the pool but I thought you guys might want to use this as an idea uh, if you're crafters and you go to craft sales and you do sell your crafts because it's very little uh, cost for us to make these so you'll see that I trimmed the length of the uh, cardstock to be one inch longer than the length of the sachet and then I scored uh, one inch down uh, from the top that way I can do a fold over if I can speak today a fold over for the card I use double sided stick tape because it's easy for me to attach it to the top of that sachet and I didn't want the excess glue liquids uh, to be putting any moisture onto the sachet because I don't know what it's made out of. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere the cardstock to the sachet at the top. I'm lining it up at the fold point and making sure that I keep it just a little bit away to not interfere with the fold down. And now we have the base of our card. So I'm using Distress Ink around the base of the card because that's such a bright orange for me, plus I like the distressed edges. Um, I'm using uh, just a little dauber, I have no idea what these things are called, because it gives you a nice, nice feathered look to inking those edges. I don't know if you noticed this a moment ago, but I used the corner rounder at the point that is glued down to the sachet. And the reason I did that is because when you flip up the card, it gives it a more finished look uh, attaching to the sachet itself. Now the next part is just as exciting and I'm going to ink some more edges. So I have some orange stamping up ink that is just color coordinated, a little too color coordinated, so um, I darken it here in just a bit and this gives a bit of the distress as well as uh, a pop of color when you pull this card out of the pocket. So if you don't ink your edges, my goodness, this is a craft that would go very, very quickly for you. Now on top of the card base, I wanted a background to break up that orange a little bit and I chose another color, color coordinating piece that's from my stash and uh, it's nice to be able to use up some of those 6x6 six six papers that for some reason I had purchased so many of uh, way back in the day. Um, oh wow, it's exciting I'm inking some more edges. But just to give you a bit of background, I do choose to ink edges sometimes directly from the ink pad because I want a more grungy look. And then other times I will ink the edges with the uh, dauber to give it a more feathered look. I'm cutting the notch out using my circle punch. It's just a one inch circle punch. And I go a little less than halfway in to give uh, nice notch and I just eyeball about where the center is. After I notch it out I want to use the feathering look uh, which is why I choose to use the dauber. 
Now while I'm using my double-sided stick tape to adhere the pocket on the left, right, and bottom of that uh, little doggy image, um, I want to point out that on the background piece that looks like it's filled with stars that are orange there on the screen, um, I did only corner around the bottom two pieces because I thought it was a more appealing to the eye. Uh, to have uh, the four rounded corners on the dog image and then two rounded corners on the bottom of the uh, background. I'm testing to make sure that the pocket fits nicely and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere the background image at uh, the background and the pocket uh, to the cardstock. Again, I'm purposely using the double-sided stick tape because it is a quick adhesive and I did not want to use any glue on this product at all because I didn't want it to seep into the sachet. I'm doing a quick little visual test to make sure that the washi is going to look good once I lay it across and then I'm putting that last strip on of the adhesive. I just eyeball it to center it and that orange now instead of being so bright is a frame and you'll notice that the grunged edges blend nicely with the flowers on the, on the flip side of the sachet. After adhering the washi tape I, I put it just a little bit longer so I can cut it clean across on both sides. Then I use the excess of one of the washies that I had to just add a little bit of that same washi across the card at the bottom. And this gives it a more coordinated look. There you go. I put the washi at the top because I could still see the staple marks. Uh, when we took this, the sachets out of its packaging. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click to subscribe. Take care now.